Are you feeling weary or stuck in your current situation? Have you been asking God when that door of breakthrough will finally open for you? You keep asking Him when His promises will come to fulfillment in your life. Rejoice, beloved. God is guiding you into a new season filled with joy, peace and greatness. All you need to do is be sensitive to His leading. This is the time to pay attention. New seasons are arising. God is making a way in the desert, causing water to burst from unexpected places. Are you prepared for what's coming? How will you know your season is here? In this video, you will uncover five signs indicating that God is ushering you into a new chapter of your life. Please endeavor not to miss any, because when you miss the signs, you will lose out on what God is about to do in your life. I pray it won't be your portion. The first sign is that God will open your eyes. Revelations 21 verse 5 says, Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Isaiah 43 verse 19 also starts with, Behold, I will do a new thing. Beloved, to see this new emerging season, God must open your eyes. Suddenly, God will open your eyes to new opportunities, or you may begin to see situations differently. For example, if you've been complaining about how tough things are, you will begin to see things differently. God might even open your eyes to see hidden blessings in that situation. When this happens, know it's a sign of new things rising. Perhaps God has been prompting you to see things from His perspective, but you're bent on wallowing in self-pity. Beloved, challenges are not the end of the world. All you need is for God to open your eyes on how to benefit from them. If you look at most successful people today, they aren't without problems. They've only learned to manage and leverage their problems. So sometimes, you don't have to pray that God takes that situation away. All you need to do is ask God to open your eyes. It is as simple as saying, Lord, things are really tough, but open my eyes to see possibilities from this challenge. When God opens your eyes, you begin to see how to thrive when others are complaining. From those challenges, God begins to show you new ideas or broaden your mindset, and the insights you receive could be the secret to your next level. At first, they might seem strange or hard to explain to others. However, there is no need to feel discouraged. If God gave you that idea, he will see that it yields results. If you see new possibilities no one sees, leverage it. Go for it. It doesn't have to make sense to you or others. It could be God's unique way of launching you into your new season. One beautiful thing about God is that no one can predict him. He can give you a little instruction that will turn things around. To others, it may look insignificant, but if you do it, it will produce net-breaking results. Today, whatever God is asking you to do, don't hesitate. God still specializes in bringing beauty out of ashes. Surrender and follow through. He is leading you to a new season in life. What other sign will you experience? Number two, divine alignment. At this point, God leads you in unexpected ways, guiding you even when you least expect it. His guidance may be subtle, directing you even when you can't see the full picture. But all he needs from you is to trust him and obey. Like Ruth and Naomi, who found themselves at a crossroads, you may sometimes feel lost and unsure where to turn. Naomi was grieving the loss of her family and decided to return to her homeland. Ruth, her daughter-in-law, also chose to go with her despite the uncertainty of their future. It was a decision that seemed simple, yet held profound significance. Little did they know that God was orchestrating their steps, leading them to a place where their lives would receive a turnaround. Ruth's loyalty to Naomi led her to Boaz, a man of integrity and kindness, who later became her husband. Through this union, Naomi's bitterness turned to joy, and their lives were forever changed. In your life, God may guide you in ways you don't fully understand. You may feel a gentle nudge or a sense of peace about a decision, even when it doesn't seem logical. This is God's way of ordering your steps, leading you toward His greater purpose for your life. Just as Ruth and Naomi's journey led them to a new season of blessings, your obedience to God's guidance can lead you to unexpected blessings and opportunities. So, if you feel a pull in a certain direction or a sense of peace about a decision, God is leading you. And no matter the storm, He will always be by your side. Psalm 32 verse 8 to 9 reads, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and bridle, or they will not come to you. This scripture affirms that God truly directs his people. 
He is responsible for leading you from one season to another. However, it is up to you to yield or make things difficult for him when he leads. What other signs should you look out for? Number three, when you are no longer content with your current position. Not being content with your current position can be a sign that God is leading you to a new season of growth and expansion. Contentment is valuable, but suddenly feeling the need to enlarge your capacity, establishment or mindset can be a sign that God is preparing you for a new season. Sometimes, the key to unlocking greater opportunities lies in believing and accepting that you can achieve more with God's guidance. For instance, if someone jokingly asks if you'd like to have a car and your immediate response is, I'm not at that level yet, it may indicate that your mind has not envisioned you in that position. Your mind needs to travel to that place of possibility before you can attain it. As you anticipate a season of expansion, you might feel compelled to invest in your mind. You can achieve this through education, such as taking relevant courses or reading books that enhance your skills and knowledge. Another valuable approach is studying the lives of those who have achieved what you aspire to. Understanding their journeys can significantly impact your mindset, helping you believe in bigger possibilities. Such insights can also provide valuable guidance on the mindset and lifestyle required for the upcoming season. Also, studying God's Word and meditating on His teachings can expand your understanding and align your thoughts with His plan for your life. This spiritual growth can provide you with the wisdom and guidance needed to go through the challenges and opportunities that come with transitioning to a new season. When you recognize the need to enlarge and invest in your personal growth, you position yourself to step into new opportunities and fulfill God's purpose for your life in a greater capacity. Isaiah 54 verse 2 says, Enlarge the place of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes. Number four, divine connections. Divine connections are like bridges to your next season. Sometimes, the difference between where you are and where God is taking you depends on a single relationship. These connections are important in guiding you toward a better future. As you approach a new season, God may bring someone into your life who can make this possible. For example, meeting a life partner can lead you into the season of marriage and the same principle applies to other areas of life. Sometimes God brings certain people into your life at specific times to fulfill his purposes. These divine connections can be friends, mentors, or partners who play a key role in your growth and advancement. People are important factors. Hence, you shouldn't take them for granted or let familiarity hinder you from receiving what God wants to give you. God might not always bring an external connection, you could use those close to you to launch you into a new season, which is why discerning people and their role in your life is crucial. God used a servant girl for Naaman's healing. She told Naaman's wife that Elisha could heal him of his leprosy. Naaman decided to take this advice, which led to his healing. If Naaman had looked down on the servant girl, he might have missed out on the season of healing God was leading him to. Therefore, it's important to accord respect to everyone accordingly, as you never can tell who God wants to use for you. Being sensitive to these divine connections is key, as they can be the key to unlocking the next chapter of your journey. Number five, prophetic confirmations. Throughout the scriptures, prophecy was a way to foretell future events, comfort people, or warn them of dangers. They are significant in determining the future. Sometimes, you may know that God is leading you into a new season because you received a word of prophecy. Shortly after receiving such a word, you may notice that you are having strange experiences. This word could come from someone to you, or you could personally receive it in your spirit. It could also come as a result of studying God's word. No matter how it comes, it is important not to dismiss prophecies. While some may misuse this gift, it doesn't mean that God can't use it to communicate with you. God could also use the quietness of the night to speak to you in your dreams. You might have a specific dream that signals the emergence of a new season or the great things ahead. What should you do when you receive a prophetic word or dream? Firstly, ask God for clarity on the meaning and inquire about what he wants you to do concerning the dream or prophecy. It is not enough to dream of a great future and passively wait for it to happen. You might need to take practical steps for it to come to pass. Not all dreams and prophecies happen immediately. So when you receive a prophetic word, ask God for direction on what to do next. 
and continue praying until you see the manifestation of the prophecy. Remember, God's word will never fail. His words are always true and dependable. 2 Peter 1 verse 19 reads, We also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable, and you will do well to pay attention to it, as to a light shining in a dark place, until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. This suggests that the prophetic message provides guidance and clarity in a world filled with uncertainty and confusion. Hence, the writer urges you to pay close attention to this message, emphasizing its importance and the need to take it seriously. While it's natural to feel excited about the future, embracing and appreciating the present moment is also important. Every phase of life serves a purpose, and rushing into the future without appreciating the present can cause you to miss valuable growth opportunities. By embracing gratitude for where you are, you unlock the beauty and mysteries of what lies ahead. So, as you anticipate the future with joy, remember to also appreciate the journey and the lessons of the present. Stay blessed. Don't forget to subscribe for more transforming content.